everyone it is monday the 26th of july it's actually late evening god you can see the toe tones in my hair <laughs> i've had a shower washed my hair and i'm off to bed um yeah i meant to vlog first thing i just totally forgot as you can see here my voice is a bit croaky um from the humidity and having a fan on uh, but yeah so i've just filmed a video which you'll have seen by now it was um a coloring chat whipping the whips part one so look, we've got we're up to 1,205 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. It's much appreciated. I will be doing the Jack the Ripper draw. Hopefully, I'll have done it by the time you see this. I've just been so lazy with it. I need to go through, put all the names in the hat and get Paul to pull it. I'm not going to do it myself. Um, yeah, so I must admit, I've been lax last week. It was so hot, I couldn't do anything. Literally, Jennifer was just falling asleep on me every day, every evening. After well, every more afternoon after nursery, uh, we didn't go into my mum's. It was like 30 degrees here. Didn't go outside. It's too hot for me. I burn too easily. So literally, the only time I'd go out is um, first thing in the morning, take Jennifer to nursery when I picked her up, and then a little bit in the evening if it was cool enough. It's just been too hot. It's cooling off now, and I've been watching the Olympics. I've been doing a bit of colouring. Again, I've had days when I haven't done anything, it's just too hot. And then I've done had days when I've just sat there with Jennifer and coloured flowers. Um, finished off a good few whips this week. I finished off three yesterday. Or was it last week? I finished off three one day anyway. Um, I've finished two today. I'm going to yawn. I've got a couple more I want to finish. Um, yeah i've got so many books the more I come in they just don't stop coming but that's it really i'm just um editing my video together and having a look at my stats on um youtube uh studio i'm so tired i'll try and vlog tomorrow properly we'll be going to my mum's tomorrow <laughs> look at my hair so gray i actually don't mind the white in it i think it looks quite good so I'm not going to worry about dyeing it. I quite like it. I'm just going to have to get it cut at some point now because it's so long. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. I got Thursday off. I'll tell you that, I got Thursday off because I have to take Jennifer to the doctors for her inoculations before her preschool ones. Preschool boosters. So she's got to go and do that. Oh my God. Oh, it's mad. It's so mad. Going to school. And I'm going to have a big tidy up because this room's a mess and I can't find half the things I need. Like battery charges. I'll try and do a bit of that tomorrow though because I'm going to need them. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. It's Tuesday morning. I'm working. Um, what the Olympics on at the moment. I'm probably going to turn it off in a minute because there's only so much you can watch before my brain goes because I'm not. It's Taekwondo at the moment. Um, yeah. It's raining. Rain. I'll see you after. Pringle. Yes, I'm hot. Are you hot? Pringle. You can have your Pringles in a minute, Jen. So Jennifer decided she wanted to be Hulk. So she's, we've just had to bath somebody because she's put green felt pen out in her mouth as well. It's all over her tongue. All over her top and bottom. She's got nothing on. In her face, it's all up her eyes, on her arms, on her tongue. It's all funny. Stop laughing. It's funny actually, because she decided she wanted to be Hulk, so she covered herself in green pen. So we've just had a bath, and she's whinged about that because obviously we were scrubbing her with the, the flannel to get as much off as we can. And there's all green patches. I'm trying to get her dry now. So it's very hot. It's getting quite. It's not late. It's only about half eight, nine o'clock. I've come upstairs just to chill and do a bit of colouring. Got uh, <coughs> ordering from the works today, which is great. So four colouring books and some gel pens and a reading book, and two colouring books for Jen Jen, which is nice. Um, and tomorrow, finally getting the Marilyn book by Lawrence Schiller, which was cut ages ago, and it got pushed back and pushed back. But it's, I'm finally getting tomorrow. It's been dispatched. It's arriving tomorrow. I cannot wait. So there'll be by the time you see this a unboxing and flip through that so you'll be able to see it i'm very excited i can't wait to see this book i'm sweltering it's not that hot up here in the bedroom now but i've sort my fan on and i'm just trying to get through to thursday so i've got thursday off to take jennifer to the doctors for her inoculation so i am 
so hot. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of colouring on my next buddy colour and uh, go to sleep. I'll see you later. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. I'm can't, losing days. I can't see. There you are. Oh, she's got her tongue out again. So she's still got bits of green on her, but she's a bit better now. And we're uh, watching Dion's no playtime. There's no blue, no, there's no green on your tongue anymore. It's all gone. Yeah. It's a little bit on your eyes though and on your legs. She's covered in it. Where's the ice cream? Oh, the ice cream. You'll see the ice cream in a minute. So we're going to watch Dion's playtime and have a cuddle for a bit and I'm going to colour. If we have a nice afternoon, we might go outside later if it doesn't rain. And she's not going to make herself look like the Hulk today, are you? Look at that face. Look at that face. How could you ever be mad for long at that face? You just couldn't, could you? It's too cute. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Apparently my marinade book's not coming There's in tomorrow. Ice cream. It's Wednesday night. Jennifer's in bed. I think she's had one of my green pens because I can't find it. Still, it's only a washable one. It's not a permanent one, so I'm not too worried about it. It's just annoying because I'm actually using it in a book, so I'll have to find one that's similar. Um, it'll be fine. Oops, there goes my phone. Um, working on my buddy colour with Chelsea. I'm doing another buddy colour with somebody else uh, soon. I've just sent a picture I thought might be nice to do to them to see what they think. Um, I'm enjoying doing buddy colours. I don't often do them. I don't want to let people down. So for instance, J Chelsea's already done hers. She started it this morning. I've started mine this evening and I've done a bit of it, but she's finished hers. But then I've got Jennifer to look after as well and stuff like that. So it's harder for me to do just sit and colour for hours. Um, and at night I'm so tired. So, I'm off to bed now. I've got morning off, so I'm going to try and uh, hammer it home tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening. Um, I said, I'm doing some stuff. I've had a sale, so I've got to post that. i just got to address it and put some money on my drop and go. I'll tidy this room out and take a load of eBay stuff at the shed and also um, put some of the colouring stuff away that I got out to use that I haven't because that happens. And then I'm just going to puddle, puddle, poodle on with doing some colouring. Tidy up, colouring. But right now I'm tired. So it's bedtime. I will see you tomorrow. And we will take poor Jennifer for her injection. We've got to find her book as well. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. I'm off work. I'm going to start tidying up. I've been watching a bit of the Olympics this morning. Um, so I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up. And then I might do a bit of colouring. So, yeah, I've got a clipboard coming today for doing PDFs on because I'm finding that they're just getting crumpled. So this way I can put them in and it's got a, a closure on it so that it can uh, close it up and then it won't get, they won't get crumpled. Yeah, so um, I'm going to tidy up, put some of the stuff in the shed and then sort out the cameras that are here, put the ones I've checked into one area and ones I haven't into another so I can get those sorted. There's a load of cola cans up here so I'm going to sort those out. Some of them will be going down because there's bits in it and I'll have to empty into the sink. Some will be going into my recycling bag over there because they'll be empty. I'm going to watch a bit of YouTube as well but I better crack on because I want to do some filming tonight and I need to find my charges for my uh, batteries because even this one's going to be going soon. I will see you soon. Try this again, third time. It's Thursday afternoon and we sit on the sofa. Um, here's Doody, the dinosaur. He's been eating some chocolate with Jennifer. Mm. Here's Jennifer. I'm trying again, Jen. She doesn't want to record. And she, uh, there's the tongue. She looks a bit pale. Um, she had her injections today. Um, so she had MMR and the um, wanted diphtheria, polio, etc. And um, so they did MMR on her first four and she was fine. She didn't move a muscle, she just sat there. And then on the second one, I think it's because she knew what was coming. She was not happy. Maybe it hurt more, I don't know. I started crying. We got home, um, we sat on the sofa and she gave me, you know, she sat on me and I gave her a cuddle. So eventually she fell asleep. They did say it would make her dopey. Um, it always has done, she did last time. So uh, while she was sleeping, I left her there for a while and then I put her uh, on the sofa to sleep and I went and had a shower, as you can tell. Her hair's all wet. But, um... Mama, you eat this piece. Do you want me to eat that piece of chocolate? You're not that hungry? No? Oh, no, but I've had enough. You've had enough, all right then. 
I've not done the pain. Uh, I'll be honest, I had a little doze up today. So I can, oh, it's oh dear, and your little one cry. She does look a bit pale. <laughs> gorgeous you are. You are just too gorgeous and you know it. Okay. I got... Got chocolate on your chin. I got two tooth. Mm -hmm. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good girl. So we're going to watch gorgeous movies for a bit and uh, the engineer, or super squirt is good. And just relax. I'm still feeling a bit ooh, groggy from sleeping. I fell asleep. But she's alright and that's all that matters. She loves this programme. Well, it's YouTube. Gorgeous movies, Super Squad, check it out, it's really good. It's painting time, isn't it, Jen? Oh, you're a lovely girl. It's alright, wash the brush off and try again. Wash the brush. Good girl, are you having fun? It's a bit oh, that's a nice pink. Yeah. I'm warm again. Um, so Jennifer's in bed, which is good, she's asleep. Um, she's fine. I'm going to do a little bit of filming, not a huge amount, but I'm going to do flip through this and here is the Lawrence Schiller book which I'm going to do an unboxing of in a minute but I also got two other things which you'll see before you see this or around the same time got this clipboard for colouring on but it's, it opens up and there's a place to store all the bits your loose bits or your pens that you're using I think because the Oh, the PDFs they tend to get a bit crumpled, so I thought I'll put them on there. And hopefully, that'll help. And of course, I treated myself to another set of these. So, very naughty, I know, but I don't care. Um, because some of mine are stumps. Um, oh, I love it. I'm not going to use them just yet, though, because I don't need to at the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to get the Care Bears filmed, the unboxing filmed, and start getting them ready. I've also got another Ava Brown book, Beach Scenes. That's here, which is nice. Haven't looked at it yet, but I will have a look through that in a minute. I might colour one of them tonight using, I don't know, I've got my shuttle arts there. They, you know, there's no people in them. I think it's just scenes, so that's great. So I don't have to worry about skin tones or anything. I can use that, see what it's like. So I'm going to crack on with that so I can curl up into bed and read. I've lost the remote control for the fire again. I've got to find that. I see you somewhere. just don't know where. But that's going to be it for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. It's Friday, last day of the week. Although, obviously, I had today off as well. I might even go and grab the little fan after because I'm a bit warm. I'll see you later. Hey everybody, it's Saturday morning and we are going to go up the tower. In other words, we're going shopping in Newport. Uh, the tower is King's Grace Centre Car Park, because <laughs> it's a multi-storey. If you're wondering, hang on, what happened to Friday? Yeah, I didn't vlog Friday, I wasn't feeling 100%. Jennifer was grouchy from having her injection on Thursday. Um, yesterday, I got Michelle Morgan's book, Hell Hath No a Fury. I will show you it later, and I'll tell you a little bit about it and what I think. Uh, but I'm just getting ready to go out. It's the last day of July, I can't believe it. We're in August tomorrow, it's crazy. Um, news is that we're not going back to our office until February, beginning of February, I think, because they're doing a refit. And then the plan is only two days in the office a week, which is potentially Thursday and Friday. That's what they're hoping for at the moment, which is great because the traffic's always quiet around the end, at the end of the week. It's worse on a, a Tuesday, so I'm so glad we won't be going in on Tuesdays. So fingers crossed it won't be too bad going in on a Thursday and a Friday. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. I'm happy with that. I can cope with that. Two days is fine. Three days home. Loving it. Sounds really good. So yeah, I was talking to the boss yesterday. So we're going to go to Newport. I'll take you with me. Um, I finally found my blue inhaler. It was down there. I knew it would be down there somewhere. Um, 
I've been uh, just using this one, which is fine. It's an inhaler, it's a preventer and a, a reliever. So I haven't really needed that much. So try not to use it unless it's really bad. But uh, so tonight I'll be filming my haul. So we can go up tomorrow. And I'll probably film my completed pages, um, even though it's because it'll be in the evening, so I won't be colouring much. I won't be finishing anything after uh, I do that. And then uh, tomorrow I'll start filming my complete colouring book collection. I still haven't decided how to do it because I do keep all my books separate. I keep all my coloured books separate from my uncoloured books. It's just the way I do it. Because I'm strange. But there you go. Anyway, uh a big haul this month. I gotta admit, I've been very naughty. But there you go. Anyway, I will see you later. I'm gonna uh, hop on and get my stuff together so we can go out. Hey everyone, it's Saturday night. Everybody's in bed. I've not been vlogging today. I'm just not feeling up to it. Feeling really weird. Um, not ill, but just not with it. Tired, can't sleep, or can sleep. Off my food. It's, it's anxiety, mental health issues and stuff. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. So this is Hell Hath No Fury by Michelle Morgan. I'm just going to read you the back. In 2011, 19-year-old Charlotte Baker meets an older man and falls pregnant. Certain that Simon is going to leave his wife and build a new life with her, Charlotte is horrified when he leaves and moves to London with his wife. Years later, Charlotte has recovered from the heartbreak until she sees Simon with his wife during a chance encounter. But what Simon doesn't know is that Charlotte went ahead with her pregnancy and that he has a son. It's a bit sticky on it. That's Jen, that is. When it becomes obvious that Simon is staying in the area, Charlotte decides to hide the existence of her son. She will hide a secret at any cost. But someone knows what Charlotte did. Someone knows her secret. Someone who's willing to do anything to make her pay. So all I can say is, it's excellent. Go read it. I read it in one sitting. I couldn't put it down. It was that brilliant. And I also picked up this today. Yours Retro has Marilyn on the cover. And it's an article written by... Michelle Morgan. Obviously she's best known for her biographies but she is writing fiction as well which is really cool. She's got another fiction one she's working on at the moment. Fantastic. Another Marilyn book out next year and another project she's working on so I can't wait. Yeah so it's like a six page article um, but we've also got Jean Harlow's in it. There's a little a few pictures of Judy Garland, a few of Doris Day. Um, yeah it's actually a really good issue so I'll be keeping this issue. I'll get another copy from a scrapbook and scan the rest of it into my scanner stroke printer and I can then um, make copies. I know it's clever. Anyway, I'm going to go and film my haul in a bit but the first thing I'm going to do is finish my buddy colour that I've been doing with Chelsea Murray because um, I've been finding it really hard to do anything. So it's nearly finished so I'm just going to go and finish it off. I'll see you in a bit. Okay it's quarter 12 Saturday 31st of July and I have now finished my page that I was trying to finish tonight and I have filmed my haul so tomorrow I'll be filming my completed pages not as much as normal but I haven't been in the mood I'm really struggling at the moment I finished the page I wanted to finish so I'm really happy with that so I might colour for a little bit I might go to sleep I'm not, I don't, I'm not tired I'm yawning but I don't feel tired enough to go to sleep, we'll just see what happens. I probably will in a bit. I'm just, I'm so hot up and I'm fed up and, yeah, I don't know, I'll be all right. I might read for a bit actually. Hmm, we'll have to see. Anyway, I've done everything I needed to do tonight, which is the main thing. So I'm gonna head off for the night and I'll see you tomorrow, it's Sunday. Hey everyone, it's Friday night, everybody's in bed. So it's that's Friday, it's Sunday night and everybody's in bed. I haven't vlogged today. And there's nothing's happened. Jennifer got me up at like seven o'clock, something ridiculous. And I spent all day feeling absolutely shattered. So we went out and did the shopping, got back, put it away, had some lunch and I went to bed and I slept for like two and a half hours. I was, I'm so tired, I'm still tired now. I was gonna film tonight, but I've just had a shower and I don't wanna get hot and sweaty again. So I thought I'll do it tomorrow night before I have my shower tomorrow because um, this will be going up tomorrow so I don't need to worry too much about it the room although I tidied it up last week is a mess again I just can't get on top of it it's just, I think I need a few few days off for myself where I'm not thinking I've got to do this for Jennifer and this for Paul 
um, and tidy up, do some eBay. I might try and do a little bit of it tomorrow afternoon when Jennifer's home. I say I'm just going to get changed and I'll like put do some rubbish in the bin or bring some the washing down and stuff like that. I'm just just exhausted at the moment, so I'm, I'm just not caring, and I need to. So I, that's the way I look at it, as long as I'm fed and Jennifer's clean, tidy, and fed, and Paul's fed, and he's all right, that's all that matters at the moment. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. I'm just extremely tired, so I'm off to bed now. I'm gonna get a, watch a little bit of YouTube and get an early night. So I will see you tomorrow, and we'll do it all again. Bye, everyone.